Even though the price of gold got obliterated last year after roaring higher for over a decade, I still believe it's worth having some gold in your portfolio, if only as an insurance against inflation and world chaos. Sometimes the economy will do really well with little inflation like last year, and the precious metal will lose you money. But whenever the next genuine crisis hits, I'm telling you, you'll be glad you own some gold. That could be years and years away, but you wouldn't want to buy auto insurance until after you got in a car accident, would you? I think you should treat your portfolio the same way. I always say the easiest way to play the shiny stuff is with the GLD. That's the ETF that tracks the price of gold. Because the gold stocks themselves can be super risky. There are all kinds of bad things that can happen when you're running a mine that have nothing to do with the actual price of the commodity. But there is one gold miner left that has been putting up consistently excellent numbers, and that's Rand Gold, symbol G-O-L-D for all you home gamers, a miner focused on West and Central Africa that's the most successful player left in an admittedly ailing industry. While the GLD has rallied 8% for the year, Rand Gold is up a terrific 24%, and that's because of production growth. This is the growth gold company. When Rand Gold reported last Thursday, the company delivered a 43% year-over-year increase in gold production thanks to the ramp-up of its Kabali mine in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah, the Congo! Hey, actually, a good place to do business. Meanwhile, the company's on track to deliver production growth in excess of 30% for 2014. Cash costs, while up 9% for the previous quarter, still down 19% year-over-year. So let's take a closer look with Mark Bristow. Get a better sense of the gold business and his company prospects. Dr. Bristow, welcome back to Mad Money. Hey, Jim. Nice to speak to you. I got to tell you, Mark, I'm listening. I'm hearing about a mine in the Congo with some of the lowest finding costs and the greatest amount of production, and it's all yours, isn't it? Well, we've got 45 percent. Anglo's got 45 percent. Government's got 10. But we're the operators. We run the show there. And it looks to me that even though that, that this is going to be the mine that will get you well on the way to a million ounces, producing 550,000 ounces this mine? Yes, Jim. And, and, you know, if everything works out as we planned, it'll do over 600,000 ounces for the next 13 years at under $600 an ounce. And that's because you're going to have not just one hole in the ground, but five, and it's a very deep mine like South Africa? We've got uh, the, the, the underground mine at the moment goes to about 850 meters, so about 2,500 foot. Um, and then we've got five pits, as you correctly say. Now, it seems to me that your industry is in chaos away from you. Uh, I was listening to one of your conference calls, and you are saying that 40 to 50 percent of this industry is producing gold that's not profitable? How long can that last? Well, you know, uh, Jim, I always uh, say, you know, go back in history. Remember in the late 90s when things were really tough in our industry and we'd seen the drop in the gold price. You know what the gold industry did? They cut expiration, cut capital. And then they borrowed gold in hedging and sold it into the market and put more pressure on the gold price. And we're doing the same again. Look what the guys are doing. They're cutting expiration, cutting capital and continuing to produce gold at a loss. Well, I know a lot of these companies are for sale. I'm sure you've kicked the tires. None of them really worth buying, are they? No, I'm afraid not. I think, you know, we've seen the rumors in the market about the big guys uh, wanting to restructure and save uh, costs and get efficiencies and the, and the small guys doing the same thing. I think what we've eventually got to is that the industry has realized it's structurally not optimal and it really needs to restructure itself. I know you've been saying that actually you're surprised about the price of gold, but when I read through all the things that you've been saying over the years, it seems like it's a matter of time that the, the wrong production, the high cost production closes, and demand has actually been pretty consistent all the way along. You know, Jim, can you believe it? Uh, since 2002, the average grade of the uh, ore that's mined by the industry as a whole has dropped from 2.6 grams to just over a gram. No wonder the cost is so high to produce a bar of gold. And ultimately, we haven't invested in finding new gold. And that's what separates Rand Gold from the rest of the industry. We really are about looking for those world-class deposits and building them no matter where they are. That's why you need good management. And do I see 2015 as the year that the Ivory Coast really comes in big? I think, you know, when I always say if, uh, if you were the fairy godmother, Jim, and I had a wish of where I wanted my next mine, it would be the Cote d'Ivoire. But, you know, you can't always uh, choose where you find them. But we're looking hard. Well, also, just one last thing. I, I was reading another interview about you. you. You realized that the Congo was a safer place to invest than Russia. How is that possible, you with that vision? 
Well, we spent a lot of time there, and you know what? You can't ever control anything. You can't work under the law in Russia. You've got to rely on other people's favors. And in, in the DRC, they want investment. They want the money. They want uh, to create jobs. They want to develop their country. And they have a good mining law. And, you know, at the end of the day, I've always said, if you, if you develop world-class businesses that are highly profitable, you pay tax, you employ people, what else do politicians want? So you're not worried about the, any sort of change in the tax regime in DRC? You know, Jim, I worry every day about every place that I put my shareholders' money, and I will continue to do that. Well, you've done a remarkable job. You're doing much, much, much better than the industry. Dr. Mark Bristow, thank you so much for coming on Mad Money. Thank you, John, Jim, for having me. All right, guys, if you do want to own a gold stock, it is this one. It is Rangold. That's Mark Bristow, CEO of Rangold Resources, symbol gold. Don't move. Lightning rounds next.